Thanos knows. Thanos. Is he there already? Bruh. The stingray. Getting at her. Cap. Sorry, buddy. We got a problem. Yeah, we do. Well, what are we going to do now? You know what? Give me a break, Steve. I just got hit in the head with the Hulk. You said that we had one shot. <laughs> yes, it's shot. Six stones or nothing. Six stones You're or nothing. You're repeating yourself. You know that? You're repeating yourself. You're repeating yourself. Dude. You know, no. <laughs> you never wanted a time heist. I dropped a ball. You ruined the time heist. Is that what I did? Are there any other options with the Tesseract? We have one particle left each. We use that. Bye-bye. To go home, right? Home. Yeah, well, if we don't try, then no one else is going home either. We got it. There's another way to retake the Tesseract and acquire new particles. The 90s? Military installation, Garden State. When were they both there? I know for a fact they were there. Who's they? What are we doing? I know how I know. Guys, what's the, what is it? Well, it looks like we're improvising. What are we improvising? Do you know what Scott? it is? Get this back to the compound. What's in New Jersey? For New seven, Jersey. Seven, Excuse me. Is it going to be something sure? with... Captain Steve America Rogers. Look, <laughs> if you do this and it doesn't work, you're not coming back. Thanks for the pep talk, pissant. <laughs> You trust me. Right? No. <laughs> no, you don't. Is it back to the 40s? I don't know, but Ant-Man has to be a little insecure that the, everyone's the just 70s. using his powers. Enough said. Is that Sam? Is that Sam Lee? I think it was. You weren't actually born here, right? The idea of me was. Well, imagine your shield running a quasi-fascistic intelligence organization. Where do you hide it? In plain sight. <laughs> Why the heck did Walter White just walk in there? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the sus noise, you heard it. Good luck on your project, Doctor. You knew here. Not exactly. Not at all. Gotcha. Back in the game. Nice. Right, because they had it back then. It's gonna be his dad. Run! Hey, doors this way, pal. Oh, yeah. Looking for Dr. Zola. Have you seen him? Oh, Zola. I haven't seen a soul. Do I know you? He looks the exact same as when he was a teenager, though. <laughs> Got a name? Howard. Oh, well, that'll be easy to remember. Howard Potts. <laughs> well, I'm uh, Howard Stark. <laughs> Shake that. Don't pull it. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just hand him his <laughs> finger? Green I don't know. There, uh, Potts. You wanna get some air? Hello, Potts. Yeah. That'd be swell. That way. Need your briefcase? You know one of those beatniks, are you, Potts? What's a beatnik? Let me know what a beatnik is, y'all. Hello. Dutch Pim? Yes. This is Captain Stevens from shipping. We have a package for you. <laughs> Bring it up. Is that, is that him for real? I thought that was your job. Sir, the box is glowing and... They didn't open it, did they? Yeah, they did. <laughs> better get down. Excuse me. Out of the way. <laughs> There they are. All the pin particles you Take could them ask all, for. Right? They, they got enough to mess up now. You got a big date tonight? Uh, my wife's expecting, and uh, too much time at the office. Aww. Congratulations. How far along is she? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> She's at the point where she can't stand the sound of my chewing. <laughs> I guess I'll be eating dinner in the pantry again. I have a little girl. A girl would be nice. Less of a chance she'd turn out exactly like me. What'd be so awful about that? The uh, greater good has rarely outweighed my own self-interest. I bet Cap's gonna run into Peggy. Yeah, probably so. Can you describe it? Well, one of them had a hippie beard. But Cap looks the same, so maybe she'll recognize him. <gasps> Carter! This is gonna suck for him to see. I know, man. I'd have to pop in to say hello. It'd be hard. Like, he could just say abort mission and just be like, yo, and live there. Right? Not at this point, I don't think. Well, because Thanos might time. destroy this reality, too. Let me ask you a question. Are you nervous? Wildly. Did you feel qualified? Did you had any idea how to successfully operate that thing? I, I thought about what my dad did, and my old man, he never met a problem he couldn't solve with a belt. I thought my dad was tough on me. Looking back on it, I just remember the good stuff. Aww. He did drop the odd pearl. Yeah? Like what? No amount of money ever bought a second of time. Smart guy. Mm -hmm. Did his best. I'll tell you that kid's not even here yet. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. Aww. At least he's got that, right? Good to meet you, Potts. <laughs> yeah. Howard. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> for everything. You've down to this country. <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis? Whoa. Oh, okay. Have we ever met that guy? 
You meet a lot of people, sir. And he talks like him. Seems very familiar. Right. So his dad's driver must have meant a lot to him. That's some role of significance in his life. So we kind of got to meet him too. That's cool. And little did Jarvis know him and Ultron would have a baby named uh, Vision. Or not Ultron. Yeah, I understand. Him and that. Thor. Yeah. You could stop this. You know you want to. Did you see what happens in the future? Thanos finds the soul stone. You want to know how he does that? i throwing you off a cliff. It's enough. <laughs> I'm not sure what that meant. Pen particles. How do I look? Oh, Nebula had pen particles on her when she was captured. Under different circumstances, this would be totally awesome. What a shot, bro! I said it in the last one. So they're gonna have to go get it from the Red Skull. Yeah. But the raccoon didn't have to climb a mountain. How come? Daughter of Ivan, son of Edith. He knows their parents' names and like cool. Who are you? You consider me a guide to all. The soul stone. You tell us where it is, then we'll be on our way. If only it were that easy. Right, what are they gonna have to sacrifice to get it? I have no idea. What you seek lies in front of you, as does what you fear. In order to take the stone, you must lose that which you love. Well, they don't love each other. An everlasting exchange. A soul for a soul. How's it going? <laughs> Maybe he's making this shit up. I don't think so. Because uh, he you knows your daddy's name. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, wow. Thanos left her with the stone without his daughter. It's not a coincidence. Yeah, one of the saddest parts of that movie. Whatever it takes. Didn't you cry the hardest here in that part? Whatever it takes. Don't you jump, Clint. that stone. Billions of people stay dead. And I guess we both know who it's gotta be. I guess we do. I'm starting to think we mean different people here. The last five years, I've been trying to do one thing, get to right here. It's all it's been about, bringing everybody back. She's trying to jump. Oh my god. Man, gosh. don't do it, Natasha. I'm trying to save your life, you idiot. Yeah, well, I don't want you to. How's that? Natasha, you know what I've done. You know what I've become. Well, I don't judge people on their worst mistakes. Maybe you should. You didn't. You're a pain in my ass, you know that. I guess the type of love they have for each other is strong enough. Like, I guess it doesn't have to be like an intimate they're love. They're besties. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Tell my family I love them. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh my god. They're both about to fall. Let me go. No. I'm so tired of seeing that. I'm speechless, guys. I don't know what to say. That sucks. That's an OG one right there. I know. I hope we don't need to choke nobody with our legs. Just like Thanos. Man, he's gonna have it. Oh my gosh. Significantly different reaction than when Thanos got it. I know that man was like bathing in that bang, chilling. Did we get them all? Are you telling me this actually worked? Oh no. Clint, where's Nat? The old Hulk wouldn't have been able to handle that. Do we know if she had family? Us. Why are we acting like she's dead? We have the stones, right? We have the stones, Cap. We can bring her back to stop this shit with the Avengers getting together. Can't get her back. <laughs> Sorry, no, no offense, but you're a very earthly being. Okay, we're talking about space magic. Yeah, look, I know that I'm way outside my, my pay grade here, but she still's in here, and she it can't be undone. That's at least what the red floating guy had to say. Maybe you want to go talk to him. Go grab your hammer, and you go fly, and you talk to him. He might, because it's an Avengers movie. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. I forgot they were a thing. She's not coming back. We have to make it worth it. We will. You see that baby Jarvis? Oh, wow, he's got a lot of them. What? Oh, wow. And they're putting it on a Stark can? 
<laughs> Stupid raccoon. <laughs> All right, the gloves are ready. Well, That's about to be a powerful thing. Fingers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, you haven't decided who's going to put that on you. Look, look, sitting here staring at the thing is not going to bring everybody back. I'm the strongest Avenger. This responsibility falls upon me. It's, it's, Norman, it's my right. duty. It's not, it's not that. No, it's not that. Nah, no, mm -hmm. it falls upon Tony Stark. The Hulk is, remember? He's the strongest Avenger. Let me do something good. Something it's not just the fact that that glove is channeling enough energy to light up a continent. I'm telling you, you're in no condition. What do you think is coursing through my veins right now? The lightning. Yeah. Lightning won't help you, pal. Gotta be me. Many of you could survive. How do we know you will? We don't. But the radiation's mostly gamma. So it probably does have to be the Hulk. Mm -hmm. I was made for this. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but it could be true. That's kind of crazy how calculated it really was. Nebula's something's wrong with her, right? Because Thanos had her. Let's do it. Everyone Thanos snapped away five years ago. We're just bringing them back to now, today. Don't change anything from the last five years. How is he going to put his hand in that? Right, I was wondering that too. Well, he became such friends with Rocket. He was protecting him. Did mm -hmm. you see that? Mm hmm. That's cute. Friday, do me a favor and activate Barn Door Protocol, will you? Yes, boss. Oh, wow. To contain it. That's oh, Star now I have to take real, forever bro. to get on his hand because it's... Oh my gosh. So it's going to be hard to snap it? I don't think he can control it, babe. Look. Take it off. No, wait. Bruce, are you okay? Talk to me, Banner. Oh, it's going to kill him. You got to take it off. Okay. What is she doing? I mean, I know apparently the Hulk can't die, but is that really true? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, he did it. Did he? Dang, cryo freeze. I don't really feel like it worked, babe. I don't know what happened. Whose phone is that? I mean, it looked like Hawkeye's, right? Did it seem like Laura was calling? You think she came back that fast? <gasps> Let's go. Answer it. So it worked, but then that happens, right? What? I mean, yeah, I guess it worked, right? Canopy, canopy, canopy! Tony Rocket, get out of here! Dang, you'd imagine that wouldn't be too heavy for the Hulk. Are they still on there? They are. A growl. Oh my gosh. That is such a sick sight. Look at that. That'd be so scary if you looked up and saw that. There he is. Saw that. Mm -mm. Well, this is the future. I suspected nothing. The arrogant never do. Maybe she's double crossing you and you're the arrogant one. What will you do? Wait. Upper management. He's got a nice whip though. <laughs> In the future, what happens to you and me? I try to kill you several times, but eventually we become friends, become sisters. She probably doesn't believe it, but it's true. Come on, we can stop him. Does that mean she gets to live since Black Widow is actually sacrificed? You, you know, maybe, but it looks like the Gamora from this timeline could make her way into the new timeline. So like Gamora died, but not this version of her. Maybe. I don't know, time travel is confusing, guys. Like you get into a lot of paradoxes. You mess with time, it tends to mess back. What's he been doing? Absolutely nothing. Where are the stones? All I know is he doesn't have them. So we keep it that way. You know, it's a trap, right? Yeah, just as long as we're all in agreement. Oh. Let's go, Thor. He's fat, but don't forget about him. He got a thunder, yo. Oh, and he got a ponytail? You see the this time. You could not live with your own failure. Basically, yeah. bring you back to me? Thought by eliminating half of life, the other half would thrive. But you've shown me that's impossible. You don't think? <laughs> and as long as there are those that remember what was, there will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. Yep, we're all kinds of stubborn. I'm thankful. I know what I must do. Shred this universe down to its last atom. Create a new one, teeming with life. that knows not what it has lost, but only what it has been given. Crazy. Oh, he has both of them. A grateful universe. Oh, he's dual wielding? Blood. Oh, that's what's up. I'll never know it because you won't be alive to tell them. Yeah, that'd be a really evil dark universe to be born into. Yeah. 
Come on, Hulk. See you on the other side, man. Aww. I'm coming! Yo, he was on a bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, cracked his back. <laughs> They can climb. Dude, Hawkeye's a killer in this one. Let's go. Yeah, he's like a sword now. I just love seeing him have a bigger role, though, than the previous. Oh, hey. <laughs> I know you. Oh, no. Why'd you give it to her? Just walked right up and handed it to her. I have the stones. <gasps> Stop. Yes. You're betraying us. You don't have to do this. You've seen what we become. Come on. Then we'll listen to her. You can change. You might not should have done that. Oh no, they had to do that. So what does that mean? Different timeline now? Secured the bag. <laughs> they had to do this all amongst battling him. <laughs> Boss, wake up. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've seen him go to sleep in that suit yet. So has he got a boomerang? Or you need to train more. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Picked off by Thanos. How can he pick it up? Oh, because that's the Stormbreaker. Oh my gosh, he's put it in his chest. Menor. Who's got it? Oh, he's summoning it right now? Yeah. Good focus. Wait though. a minute. <gasps> Get Cap! up! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. That reminds me of the Avengers movie. Right. Where he almost <laughs> when picked he it up. When he was nervous about right. it? Yeah. Yeah, he's worthy for sure. What's up? Oh my god. <laughs> He's got electricity powers too. Look at this. Oh, okay now. Let's go, Steve. Oh, thank gosh for that vibranium. Did he just? Oh my! Look at the shield though. He's breaking it. Wow, man. Come on, Cap. You can do this all day. Bro, his forearms got to be beat right now. Oh my gosh. In all my years of conquest, slaughter, it was never personal. But I'll tell you now what I'm about to do to your stubborn, annoying little planet. I'm gonna enjoy it very, very much. So are you God? Like, what are you? Like, what are you trying to play here? Like, But is he God? He's the only one that gets to deserve to just enjoy the planet? Right. <laughs> Come on, say you can do this all day. It helps you. Looking worse than New York, boys. It's looking like you don't have a hole to fill up where they can right. never come back. Yeah, They're just exactly. gonna keep coming. Sam! Sam. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Boy, this Strange. John's going dumb right now, y'all. How do you get there? Dr. Strange just gave him a little lift. There's your buddy. Whoa. What's up, Steven? Got my boy Steven. Mantis, Drax. Drax, let's go. This is exciting. Let's go, Spidey. Look at his suit, it's different. Yeah, it looks cool, don't it? That's kind of overwhelming, to be honest. There's Bucky right there, let's go. Hey, Groot, is she Groot? There she is. Yay, <laughs> There's Kate. Kate. <laughs> if you're new here, don't be confused. Just watch the old video. There she Pepper. is. Pepper Potts. Hello, everyone. But you wanted more? <laughs> yeah, y'all might need more. Ant Man. Oh, it's Paul Rudd. From that timeline. Oh, wait, that's now, right? I thought that was like. Yeah, he just used one of those little buttons. Avengers! Assemble. Yes! <laughs> they finally got the rights for it, apparently. This is crazy, y'all. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, you see Squidward? <laughs> Leading the charge. Wow, this is about to be crazy. Like, how are you going to keep up with this? <laughs> Look at Big Fat <laughs> Thor, bro. What the heck? <laughs> that slow-mo, that in your dreams punch. Right. <laughs> that was Pepper in action? Right, you Cool. Here. No, no, give me that. <laughs> you have the little one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Let's go, Buck. The Vampire Slayer. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's go, Pete. Yeah. Aww. You will not believe what's been going on. Do you remember when we were in space? And I must have passed out because I woke up and you were gone. Doctor Strange was there, right? And he was like, it's been five years. Come on, they need us. Oh, he went to on. their... Okay. So that's actually them, not just them from the past. They remember. That's crazy. Oh, this is nice. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Stark. Mr. Stark. <laughs> Man, don't mess with Star Wars. That's Chris Pratt. Yay. Gamora? Does she even know him, though? No, she don't. <laughs> she don't. Oh, God. Don't kiss her. Don't kiss her. She might smack you. I thought I lost you. She don't know him. Don't touch me. This is girl right there. <laughs> then you got him both the second time. This is the one? Seriously? <laughs> choices were him or a tree. Yeah. Dang, that was crazy. Did you see that? Yeah. What do you want me to do with this damn thing? Get those stones as far away as possible. No. <laughs> we need to get them back where they came from. Thanos destroyed the quantum tunnel. They need to make the Hulk mad. That wasn't our only time machine. <laughs> Anyone see an ugly brown van out there? Yes. Up. Not gonna like where it's parked. How long you need to get that thing working? Maybe 10 minutes. Get it started. We'll get the stones to you. We're on it, Cap. Oh, she's taking orders from Captain America now. Right. She was all salty about him doing it. Hey, you said one out of 14 million we win, yeah? Tell me this is it. I tell you what happens, it won't happen. Fair enough, Doc. You better be right. Maybe they'll make a movie from their side of it. It's a mess back here. Who? The side that Doctor Strange was on during all this. I have to hotwire it. That'd be cool though, right? Where's Nebula? She's not responding. Saya. Coming after you, Clint. Be the ultimate running back. Let's go. Clint! Pass it off. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, they did pass it off too. <laughs> Oh yeah, if they keep bullets him. Hit him. Yeah, that was nice. Uh oh. Let's go. Not today. You took. Oh my gosh, she's pissed. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> you will. Let's go. Oh no. Like, come on, give me that <laughs> infinity ring. It's my mom. It's to kill. It's to kill. Let's go. He's not learning how to use all the commands <laughs> on his suit. Let's go. I know what you guys are thinking, man. The graphics are nuts. Trust me. I'm seeing them too. But Sire, our troops just do it. Oh, no. He said, I don't care. I'll sacrifice my own soldiers. Oh, my gosh. She's hit. Good job, Wong. That's nuts. This? Oh, there's a flood. Oh my gosh. What's that gonna do? Like, Strange has gotta stop it. Dang. Boy, I made a dang water twister, didn't he? Okay, I don't got this. Help! Somebody help! Hey, Queens. Heads up. <laughs> Good hands. <laughs> kind of caught that technically, right? Hang on. I got you. That's his godparents. Hey! <laughs> oh yeah. What is she called? A Valkyrie? Mm -hmm. Is she flying on a Pegasus? Yeah, is that, that what it's called? Yeah, it's fucking weird. Oh my gosh. Buddies. We gotta find a way to destroy that shit, boys. Friday, what are they firing at? Something just entered the upper atmosphere. Is it Captain Marvel? Oh, it's gotta be, right? Right through it. Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why'd she shave her head though? It, she just changed her hairstyle. I don't know. Everyone changed their hairstyle in this movie. She destroyed that thing. We need an assist here. They need to put Parker. Thanos in the thing. Peter Parker. <laughs> hey, Peter Parker. You got something for me? He doesn't even know her. Uh -uh. <laughs> He's like, I mean, I guess. I don't know how you're going to get us through all that. She's got to help. Oh, the girl squad pulled up. Let's go. Let's go, girls. Tonight's Wayne action. Let Gamora lead it. Gamora and Wanda. Let's go. That was cool. No way. Mm -mm. What a throw. I know. 
Oh my gosh. Nice. Just get out of there, Tony Stark. Let's go, Thor. He got his hands on it. You cannot let him get his hands on it again. Oh my god, he just tossed her. No! You can't! How? Yes. Let's go. Poke his eyes. Not even a headbutt's gonna work. Oh, he's gonna use a power stone? <gasps> Dang. He was too smart. It's not good. Why is Strange looking at him? You're number one, Tony. I know. That's that one in a trillion. He's looking at Tony Stark. Tony Stark's a hero. Let's go. Oh, he's gonna save the day. Let's go. A little brat. No shot. Inevitable. What do you do? Yikes. Oh, he took the stones out. Tony Stark's got the glove. His own glove. Iron Man. Yes. They dissolve. It began and ended with that phrase. Tony Stark did it. See you, Squidward. Bye. There you go, Thanos. Now the planet that your people are from will be spared. Your vegan planet. What does he say? Why doesn't he dissolve? You don't want to hear it. There he goes. Look how burnt he is. I know. Mr. Stark. Hey. Can you hear me? It's Peter. You want Mr. Stark? You want it. You did it, sir. You did it. Tony. Friday. We're gonna be okay. You're gonna save him, right? No way. Man, I really hope that this franchise doesn't kill off Iron Man. Like, that would suck. Oh my God. Thank you, man. You okay, baby girl? Man, that scene in the beginning got me with Clint and his kids. So are they just back to normal? Back to normal life. Look. <laughs> Isn't that Ned? Yeah. Everybody wants a happy ending, but it doesn't always roll that way. I'm hoping if you play this back, it's in celebration. Oh. I hope families are reunited. I hope we get it back and something like a normal version of the planet has been restored. If you told me 10 years ago that we weren't alone, let alone, you know, to this extent, I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised, but come on, who knew? That's the reality Morgan's gonna have to find a way to grow up in. Oh, man. So I thought I'd probably better record a little greeting in the case of an untimely death on my part. I mean, not that death at any time. Oh, happy. This time travel thing that we're gonna try and pull off tomorrow. Is I feel bad for Rhodey too, man. Then again, that's the hero gig. Part of the journey is the end. What am I even tripping for? Everything's gonna work out. I love you 3,000. Proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Remember Pepper made that in the first one? Or second one? We get the Hulk's arm in a sling from even touching it. I'll say it again, man. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman because, you know, he passed away in real life, so. That was really sad seeing him in the setting right here. Yeah. Oh, Who's that dude? I have no idea. Yeah, I was going to say, where was Nick Fury this whole movie? But there he is. You know, I wish there was a way that I could let her know that we won. We did it. Yeah. She knows. We both do. Now we got vision. How you doing, Squirt? Good. You hungry? Well, that's Uncle Happy now. Your dad loved you, too. Like <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna get you all the cheeseburgers you want. That's the first thing he asked for, remember? Whew. Overwhelmingly sad. What in the world? When can we expect you back? About that. But people need a king. No, they already have one. You're being serious. He's retiring? Starting to be who I am rather than who I'm supposed to be. But you, you, you're a leader. That's who you are. You know, I'd make a lot of changes around here. And I'm counting on your majesty. I mean, I guess if Thor doesn't want to fight, she earned her spot, right? Mm -hmm. First time in a thousand years, I, I have no path. I do have a ride, though. <laughs> Move it or lose it, airbag. In a thousand years, I have no path. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? What does a man like Thor do with no path? Lord knows. He has guardians of the galaxy. Bro, because <laughs> they found him, so he just, like, loves them. Just so you know, this is my ship still. I'm in charge. Bro, I'm dead. I know, of course you are. Of course. <laughs> so you say, of course, but then you touch the map, quail. You, that, that's your own whale? insecurities. <laughs> we should fight one another for the honor of leadership. <laughs> it's not necessary. It's not. Use knives. Yeah. Knives. I am Groot. <laughs> not no, necessary. Not, there shall be no knifing one another. Everybody knows who's in charge. <laughs> Me. Yes. You. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. A little sadistic. You have to return the stones to the exact moment you got it. Don't worry, Bruce. When I had the gauntlet, the stones, I, I really tried to bring her back. I miss him, man. Mm -hmm. Me too. I could come with you. You're a good man, Sam. This one's on me, though. Kind of wish that the Falcon would have been in the movie more. Mm -hmm. How can I? You're taking all this stupid with you. <laughs> gonna miss you, buddy. It's gonna be okay, Buck. They've changed their little line to each other. How long is this gonna take? For him, as long as he needs. For us, five seconds. <laughs> All right, we'll meet you back here, okay? You bet. He brought the hammer with him? Three, two, one. So the whole time, everyone knew that Captain America eventually was going to lift that hammer, and then no one told us. That's awesome. You guys are awesome for that. Yeah, thank you guys, man. Y'all didn't spoil anything. Oh, no. Where is he? He's not coming back. He's gone. Get him back. Get him to hell back. Maybe Get he died. Right. Sam. Go ahead. Dude, I'm so confused right now. Because it looks like little Steve, doesn't it? Cap? Okay. So did something go wrong or did something go right? Put the stones back, I thought. Hey. Yeah. Try some of that life Tony was telling me to get. How'd that work out for you? It was beautiful. Oh. I'm happy for you. Only thing bumming me out is the fact I have to live in a world without Captain America. That reminds me. Try not. Let's go. <laughs> All he has to do now is change his name to the Eagle. He can be Captain America Eagle. American Eagle? Yeah, you look good with that shield. How does it feel? Like it's someone else's. It isn't. You think Cap got to spend his life with Peggy, baby? Mm hmm Thank you. I'll do my best. Oh, Yeah, because he's married. Do right, you he think you left out the either. daughter part? You know, the part with his daughter? The little daughter kiss part? You think you left that out? Yeah. No, I don't think I will. That was dope, man. That was really good. I was not expecting that. Me either. That was crazy. This is that Peggy music, isn't it? Are they getting their dance? Oh my gosh. I bet he was a good husband too, cause bro, he went through a lot to get there. Mm -hmm. No, this is not over. Oh, that's how you make a movie. Oh. <laughs> so does that mean all the OGs are gone? The Hulk's injured? Iron Man died. Cap's old. Natasha's out. I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack, bro. They couldn't have made the ending of that better. Yeah, they could have made if Tony Stark didn't die. What a name, Benedict Cumberpatch. I wonder if she was related to the Russo brothers. Is she in the last name Russo? You know when. Doctor Portal opened up the strain, uh, the portal, babe, mm -hmm. or Doctor Strange opened up the portal. I should say, sorry. And when Chadwick Boseman came through, you could see it in his face that he was like losing weight mm -hmm. and stuff. Wasn't it kind of ironic two people were named Benedict though? Like, what's the odds? All I don't right. even know one Benedict. This is like a really dope tribute to the cast. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I understand why there was like a finality to this movie. Because like the OGs are out. Right. In my opinion, that was Vin Diesel's best role. But I'm probably gonna get stabbed for that. Oof. Okay, that was dope. That was sick. I can't believe she died too, man. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. 
Wow, this is cool. I can't. Ooh. <laughs> oh, baby. What are you talking about? Here. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't Take this. That. It's what very wet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You don't understand, babe. I just simply left my phone under the couch and needed to go get it. Whew. Okay, guys. So that was Avengers Endgame. That was crazy. That was insane. What do you think? Are you about to cry? No, uh -oh. absolutely not. <gasps> I would never. What a movie. No, that, yeah, they get a little choked up. Guys, that was Avengers Endgame. Uh, wow. Um, what? Where, what ahead. do we even say? What do like, we say? Right, how do you top that? What, are, what do we do now? I know like, we have geez. to say our favorites, but I just want to say, like, what a movie. Like, from start to finish, it was captivating. It was great. The callbacks were so nostalgic. Like, but the end, like, we're all of the people that we've just, like, spent, like, 23 weeks, like, in a row. Getting emotional, baby. You want to take <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So, I think what Mrs. October is trying to say is we spent so much time getting to know these characters, hearing about how these characters were meaningful to so many people, you know, like, I mean, so many stories, guys, everything from, you know, when I was going through a hard time, my husband got me a Captain America, you know, plushy stuffed animal. And, you know, it was just a, a little- someone saying my dad died of cancer. I mean, my mom died of cancer the same age Star-Lord was like. I guess all the months of just building up to it and just seeing a performance. It's so hard to even talk about the actual movie, Jesus. I said it in the last Avengers movie, the last maybe hour to 45 minutes of that movie was just, was just, I mean, it's as good as, it's as good as it could possibly get. I mean, very few times in life do things come together like that. And I just feel very, I guess really just lucky and blessed that we got to experience these movies, man. Uh, I'm just glad I haven't came across them, man, because I could have ruined this whole experience by seeing these movies because if I had seen the first iron man i'm pretty sure i'd have ended up watching all these movies and i'm just glad that i got to experience with you guys that was bananas that was nuts i didn't really see them you know i was we we were developing our theories right and let me know when you're ready to talk to me i know you get a little emotional and overwhelmed we were coming up with our theories and we were thinking okay well thanos snapped his fingers and then you know he ran off so we were thinking they would go and somehow like steal the time stone and go back in time and fix it or something like that and so we were kind of close on our theory but i didn't see them using like quantum time travel like moving in and out of the quantum realm to do it that was insane uh the way all the avengers came together through the portals with dr strange you can make marvels for 50 years guys like you're not gonna get a better shot that was a in great the cinematic moment. universe that was a great moment hands down to me um probably the greatest moment in marvel i don't i don't even know what to say man this movie was incredible the acting was incredible from the first scene of this movie with Clint hanging out with his family, hanging out with his daughters, and then them just disappearing totally caught me off guard. Uh, the movie played it out and drug it out, right? So they didn't give you time to like, mm -hmm. they really got you sucked into like the happiness of the film. And I don't know, man, I don't, I don't really know what to say about it. It was just pretty incredible. So okay. what, what do you think, man? Um, I just want to start by saying like, thank you guys so much for supporting us through this. Um, but all of you guys who have watched it from the start, um, when it came out in 2008, you went to the theaters, you did that for 11 years, right? 11 yeah, yeah. 2008 to 2019 so you got all these experiences in between you probably had like a bunch of life changes we did it in 23 short weeks but i can't imagine you guys like how different it must feel for y'all but i'm telling you this was a unique experience and i wouldn't have changed it any other way we got all this insight from you guys and you guys didn't spoil a thing and that is yeah like you guys are the ghosts, man the me. best community hands down you guys i love you guys there's a that. couple really awesome communities for sure i mean you know like you guys didn't spoil a thing right you guys have just been so awesome in that way like you guys have been so willing to just teach and explain and to be patient because you know you know me man i miss a lot you know so you guys have just been awesome in that way they really have but like to get to know these characters like you guys got to know them for those 11 years and i'm sure even more if you read the comics but for us like reading like just editing seeing them over and over it made us like like them a lot love them almost and to just see all that just crumble away in one movie hurts like yeah i feel really sick right now so that's why I was like it's hard not to talk about it but my favorite was Tony Stark. I'm gonna go ahead and say that now. He's my favorite, he's the hero, and he's my favorite character, and I'm gonna admit that now. I think we've said it before, but you know, guys, like with this being part of like our YouTube channel we're growing, we've thought about these characters every day. Like every day we've had a conversation about Marvel. And that's not an exaggeration, guys. There's not been one day since we since we first reacted to Iron Man. There's not been one day this went by. There's not been one 
dinner conversation where we have we haven't mentioned a marvel movie talked about a character talked about a movie a prediction a comment about it mondays um, have been our lives we've for the been past couple really of really really involved with this series and even though we we're saying in the beginning the series isn't over there's still a lot of content to do and you know there's phase four this movie sort of felt like it had some type of finality to it and like mrs october said perfectly it hurts it really hurts because it feels like you know, I can't imagine how you guys feel like she was saying you grow up with these characters. You know, you grew up, you know, loving Tony Stark. You spend 11 of your, 11 years of your life, you know, maybe like wearing the T-shirt or, you know, just appreciating the movies or just whatever the case may be. Right. This happens. And this, you know, I can I can empathize with how you guys would feel about that. The feeling that you feel, I just want you to know, like, you know, I don't know how you guys feel exactly, but I'm pretty sure the gut wrenching feeling you have is what I'm experiencing also. So we have a different way of feeling it because we we did we got to like these characters in a shorter amount of time but trust me we got to know them very well very well and they they're gonna always hold a place in our heart um the series always is um it was amazing like i'm so glad we did this i would have never in my life watched superhero movies just because like i don't know guys i, I don't really know how to put it i just want it i wouldn't watch them because i i think it was overwhelming you're just a girl i mean to, to all the females out there who love marvel and who love comic books this isn't in any type of way negative like we don't mean this in a negative way but this october you're just a girly girl i mean you're just a girly girl who likes girly things and maybe this wasn't your cup of tea maybe you were just closed-minded because of your because you were a girl well and like when iron man came out i was like in high school right. so like i don't it wasn't like on my go-to i'm not like i'm gonna go watch iron man that just wasn't what i was doing and then i went to college and i wasn't gonna go watch those movies and then by that time when you're like into the 12th movie, you're not just gonna watch it at the 12th movie. You have to go all the way to the beginning and I just, Right, and then you I have didn't. to like watch an old movie in a way, so. And so this unique experience of doing this like in front of people, which was like bizarre. I never would've thought that, but it's cool. Like I loved it. I think the storyline was amazing. The movie was amazing. Like I said, man, going back to get all the Infinity Stones in their certain particular points in time, so that way that you could go before the time came where Thanos snapped his fingers to defeat him before he can even know that you're basically at war with him. Really incredible. Uh, really good job by the Hulk gathering that thing up. He sacrificed also, but ultimately, man, they were able to bring it. They were they was able to bring everyone back ultimately and. It just worked, you know? I, there, I don't really know how much I can say about the movie. I mean, the movie was... You have to say your favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say that. I'm just saying, like, in terms of the movie, the movie was pretty straightforward. It was, like, one of the more... It was one of the most simple movies we've actually seen in the Marvel Universe, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, a lot of them have been really complex, and a lot was happening, and a lot was, you know happening here and happening there and they were branching off and we knew they were all going to come meet but i guess everything sort of came to a head in this movie it was very easy to follow it um, did have a smooth way of doing all it, that, it did yeah. yeah it was very easy to follow and understand which the russo brothers have they did a great job throughout the series right and so really i guess when you break this movie down instead of talking more about the x's and o's of the meat and bones of the movie you really just have to talk about i guess really like the emotional impact of the movie uh i thought captain america given the Falcon, his shield was a beautiful sentiment. I mean, that's somebody who's been with him, has been loyal to him, and someone that he can trust. Mm -hmm. And he just seemed right for it. To me, the most beautiful part of the movie, hands down, was Captain America got to go back in time and spend his life with Miss Peggy. And you know, I, I never saw that coming. I thought that was the most tra I thought that was the most tragic story in this whole entire mm -hmm. universe. And to see that written correct was. It was almost worth, you know, it was just a really great way to balance out the bitter reality of Tony Stark not being in this universe mm -hmm. anymore. And so it was just a beautiful movie, guys. I mean, we could go on and on about this movie. One of the best I've ever seen, 100%. Yeah. When we watched The Lord of the Rings, that movie was incredible, but I've never ever in my life, you know, and I've said it before. Let me just, I'm sorry I'm ranting. That's why I've said it before, guys. I like TV shows more and I've said it a hundred times at this point. I've seen a lot more TV shows than movies, like significantly more. I don't really watch movies. A TV show will build you up and build you up and build you up and build you up. And then when it's finally over, you really feel invested into it in a way, right? And I felt that way a lot with Lord of the Rings, but man, I've never watched a movie that I've been more invested in. I'll put it that way. So this has been a really long build up. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys really are, you know, one of the greatest communities out there. You guys know that, I'm sure. So thank you guys so much for just being awesome, supporting it. We got a lot more to go. That was awesome. We'll be open-minded awesome. with these though, because I know a lot of you have like, I like to drop the negativity about it, but you know how we are. We find light in everything. My favorite character, I didn't even say. So my favorite character, you know, after that, it's, it's I don't want to be prisoner of the moment and be emotional and say Tony Stark, but it's really hard not to like Tony Stark. And he's definitely a, like a 1A. Um, you know, man, I might just have to go cap. 
I really might have to go Captain America. He might be my favorite character in the whole entire series. I could go on and on about it forever. And in the future, I'll probably do that. But I just That's think- a good choice. I just think at the end of the day, Cap just had his head on his shoulders the straightest for the most amount of time. And at the end of the day, he seemed to be the play caller. Tony Stark seemed to be the hero, but Captain America seemed to be the captain, obviously. And yeah, just liked him a lot. But it, it's it's like, you know, man, like which one of your kids is your favorite? You know, you love them all, so. I can see though, why they would get rid of those characters, kind of, so to say, because that's yeah. 11 years of their life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so all like, what are they gonna to do? To be, you know, like on SpongeBob, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, are they gonna be like that? Like, cause you know, they're like some old people in some suits. Like, no, they're not gonna be like that. They have to move on eventually. Yeah, and I understand that. But you know, the the movie can have a way of like retiring the character and then leaving an opportunity for them to like come back in the future. Like, you know, Thor could come back 15 years from now and there could be like a new Thor and he could be the new, you know, wise king who wants ran around with his hammer and smacked things up. You know, he could be the one playing the Odin role, but that's hard to do if you kill him off like they did Tony Stark, so. But I mean, yeah, definitely, man. All eras have to come to an end. There always has to be room for like the new generation to come up, but I'm definitely feeling the end of an era, man. I'm sad. Uh, I'm sad too. I feel like we got broken up with. It'll just never be the same. No. Really, it really won't be. I mean, it'll never be the same. Because so. if you think about it, these are like the OG films. And if you think about it in like 20 years when our kids have kids, they might have a Captain America like re-release on like, you know, probably in like another form. Yeah, man. And uh, you know, the. Th you just said that and it made me want to throw up. I can't even imagine replacing these characters. If they wouldn't have done such an incredible job on screen, then I could, you know, I could see it. But if you ever attempt to remake an Avengers movie, you're going to fail. You cannot, you cannot make a better movie than this. I mean, unless, unless the aspect ratio and the visuals and the, and the bit qualities of TVs are just so far advanced 20 years from now. Yeah. That, like if we can smell the shawarma, that exactly, they were eating, like, then, yeah, then maybe it'll be great. Right. But there's just no way you could ever try to replicate. But then again, man, they always do. And then in, the new generation just moves on and that's just how it works. So just a timeless movie. Um, I'm sure so many of you guys feel the same way, but this was genuinely, this was just one of the greatest experiences you know of life i mean this was one of the great you know in terms of like cinema and entertainment and you know art and things like that i mean this was genuinely this might sound jacked up to say there's a there's there's wonders of the world that i would pass on seeing before i'd give up seeing this avengers movie we just watched it was that good so it was good and it was so worth seeing i can't believe i missed it my whole life like absolutely and you know babe i've had so much fun because i've got to sit in this seat with my best friend in life and watch it's our last time in this room right here yeah that's another thing guys this is our that's last probably time why we're recording so yeah too. this like, is our last time recording in this room we're moving so like we said before man this is all fake behind us it's just decoration on the wall our house is basically empty like what you see is what we got left and we're gonna be out this house and we're gonna say goodbye to it just like we're saying goodbye to this phase but we got one more movie but just finality everywhere for you know the odds October. so i'm basically prolonging this video at this point guys because i genuinely am just sad to end it yeah, i know once no, we I'm, end it it's, so... in, it's over so yeah jesus guys i love you guys thank y'all so much for sharing that with us i hate you guys because now i feel very depressed comment your favorite character below let us know absolutely and let us know also in the comments if you want to when did you guys find us what movie was it yeah that's really cool i mean that'd be really interesting though and you know like i said guys uh we understand how important this series is to so many people. It is something that I, I genuinely didn't know when we first started making YouTube videos. I was a lot dumber than I am now, but <laughs> you know, if I didn't like something, I would just trash it. And I, I have a bad habit of that, but I do try to understand that things are really important and mean things to people. We did our best to commentate over these movies. You know, we did the best we could do. So, you know, these are some of the first movies we ever done on our channel. We're you know, we're learning, we're getting better, more experienced. And, you know, I just hope we've done these movies justice because they, they've done a lot for us. They mean a lot to me. And I just hope if you guys decide to watch these videos and, you know, three years from now, I just hope y'all look back and just hope that we did them a little bit of justice because mm -hmm. they were incredible. All right. Let's, let's you done? It. Guys, as always, it's been the Octobers. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Bye. <laughs>